Got him. As soon as it hit the water. I'm just chasing it. Oh, got one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a nice one. Whoa, as soon as it hit the water, baby. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be an exciting day. I've been waiting to fish this one spot all summer long. We just had so much rain and the weather's been so bad this uh, last six months or longer that I haven't been able to fish this spot because it's always flooded and muddy. Well, it hasn't had any rain in several weeks. The water's crystal clear right now. Uh, I have a video of me fishing this spot. It's called Low Water Bridge over here in this area. Uh, I'm going to be targeting bass and whatever other kind of species I can catch. I might throw some smaller lures. I don't really have I don't really have my small uh, rod and reel today, so it's going to be hard for me to throw smaller lures for uh, perch and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see what happens. But I'm going to be targeting bass this morning. Uh, I'm going to be starting out with a buzz bait, try to get some top water action going because the water is kind of shallow. So we're going to be walking this uh, creek and looking for deeper spots and we're going to fish the deeper spots down this little creek. So it should be a lot of fun. It was always fun every time I came out here. So let's go give it a shot and let's see if we can catch some fish. Show you guys why we call this place low water. This little road that goes all the way down over here. Goes all the way down to this little bitty bridge right here that is about two foot above the water, so this place floods all the time. It's an awesome little place though because uh, you can walk up and down this little creek here and find the little deep spots and do some bass fishing. You catch crappie in here, you can catch uh bluegill and uh, sun perch and all different types of fish in this uh, this little area right on this in this little creek here and it uh, connects to the Lavaca River so you can just walk 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 and uh, and uh, fish see a bunch of little fish down there right now what I normally do is I check and see which way the uh, the current's going Right now the current is heading out. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be walking north. Because I want to walk against the current whenever I'm going out. That way I can walk as far as I want to. Whenever I get tired and I'm ready to come back. When I'm walking back, I'm walking with the current. And it's much, much easier to get back. As you can see how crystal clear this water is. I mean, it's literally crystal, crystal clear. It's a lot of fun. Really awesome experience. You get to check out the awesome scenery. And you get to catch a lot of fish. So, that's why I love this place. Oh, I got a bite. Something hit it. Probably a little perch. Oh, something nailed it again. <laughs> oh, that's a little bass. He keeps slamming it. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Oh, <laughs> he nails it as soon as it hits the water. He must be a little bitty old thing. Let's see if we can hook him. 
No. I'm just chasing it. Oh, got one! Yeah! Got a little bass. I knew I seen something chasing it. Heck yeah. First catch. <laughs> Check it out. First catch, beautiful little bass. Thank you, little buddy. We'll see you later. Got a nice one. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, buddy. Man, that was a good blow up. Heck yeah. About a little one pounder. Got a good hook set on him. What the hell? There we go. Check him out. That was an awesome little sucker, man. He hit it so hard. Easy catch. Let's get him released. There you go, buddy. Oh man, this looks like a good little spot right here. I can see it gets deep along that side. This should be good. Whoa, as soon as it hit the water, baby. Yes! I knew it! <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh man, there he goes. See you later, buddy. Thank you for the fight. That was awesome. He's going right back to where he was. See if there's another one over there. I don't know the way he was splashing. I probably ran everything off. <laughs> he was jumping out of the water and everything. Man, that's actually a deep little hole right there. Oh, yeah. Good one. <laughs> Man, he hit it hard. About another little one pounder. Heck yes. Tearing them up this morning. Awesome little catch. Probably about a little one pounder or so. Something hit it in there two or three different times. A little, probably a little miniature bass. <laughs> this is fun. I love this place. Oh yeah, <laughs> I knew there was going to be one in there, heck yeah, I knew there was going to be one by that little tree, man he hit it hard too, <laughs> this is awesome, and there's another small one probably about 8 inches long, maybe a half a pound at the most, alright little buddy,
There's got to be another one in there. Even if there is, I probably wouldn't get him to bite because I done, that one was going pretty wild. Oh, there was one that went after it. A little tiny one. Oh, he hit it again. <laughs> That's funny. Too small to even eat it. But they ain't scared to hit it. Little suckers. Alright, let's see. Look at all them mullet. Not sure if you guys could have seen that or not. If the sun would have been out, you guys would have seen them. This looks way too shallow for decent sized fish, but you never know. Whoa! See what I mean by never know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Wow, he came out and hit it. He's the biggest one yet. Shoot, yeah. Went probably about a pound or so. So much fun to catch these guys. All right, buddy. So many little miniature bass in here. I'm talking small, so small they look like uh, minnows. Then this place is packed with them. Oh yeah, as soon as it hit the water, baby. Heck yes. <laughs> I love this. Get them at the top of that mouth every time with this uh, this buzz bait too. Never fails. Always a good hook set. All right, little buddy. Man, this is a blast. Love this place way too much. This is by far my favorite place to fish. Oh, this is, looks like a good little spot to catch a couple. Or at least one. So many little ones chasing it. Ooh! Oh, oh my God, man, they are tearing it up. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, he came back and got it, yeah. Oh man, he's a little video thing. We'll keep trying a couple more times, see if we can get him to uh, hook up. You mad, bro? You guys have no idea how much fun this is. Oh! Yes! <laughs> I knew there was going to be one there. I love this little bitty uh, buzz bait because it gives me an opportunity to catch these little small ones. I wouldn't be catching these if I was using a uh, big size uh, uh, buzz bait. So little tiny buzz bait's giving me the opportunity to catch all these. I wouldn't be catching them otherwise. Awesome little color on these bass. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, got him. <laughs> yes.
Wow, look at all them little bitty fish come out of there and chase this lure. That's crazy. Wow, that little bass really wanted this thing. Oh, yes! As soon as it hit the water. Nice one. Oh, man. They are loving this, uh, this shark tooth orange and yellow uh, buzz bait. Oh, I got one. Little bitty sucker. <laughs> yeah. Finally hooked one of them little bitty, bitty ones. Shoot ya. Yeah. Little bitty old thing. Alright, little bunny. Turn my phone off because I only have... 18% battery because I've been making little videos of all these little fish I've been catching So I've been using up all my battery and I keep a little uh, I Keep a little charger thing where you can plug your phone up to it and it gives you like one charge or a half a charge or something It's like a little block but um I didn't bring my uh I didn't bring my uh, car charger. I mean my uh, USB charger from my phone So I have no way to charge my phone up and if, I, if something happens and I need to make an emergency call, I'm not going to be able to. So I turned my phone off. It's at 18%. So I got I to gotta look out for myself. I can't make any more short vid videos or take any more pictures. It'll just have to be whatever comes off of this, uh, this GoPro. Oh, I got one. <laughs> I knew I'd get him. Oh, it's a sun perch, not a bluegill. Check him out. I think it's a sun perch. There we go. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, I got one little bitty bitty one. Little miniature bass. Holy crap, look how small this one is. No way. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> wow. Oh, I got another other one. <laughs> Little sun perch. Heck yeah. Little bitty sun perch. Oh well. We caught one little sun perch and a little bitty miniature bass on it. So much fun. I'm glad I bought that rod with me. It changes things up a little bit when you can get some, some smaller species in there and mix it up a little bit. <laughs> Another little bitty miniature bass. Holy crap. These are so funny to catch. <laughs> wow. Oh, got him. Yeah, buddy. Got that little sucker. Oh man, he's a big one. Nice one. About a two pounder. Oh man. He's a really nice one. 
Look at that fish, guys. About a two pounder. All right, buddy. Really nice one. <laughs> Shoot, yeah. Got our bass. Yeah, buddy. Another little small bass. See you later, little buddy. All right, one more cast. Got another one. Nice little bass. <laughs> Shoot ya. Another little nice bass. Tearing them up today. Man, they are slamming it. There are so many little perching bass right here. Oh, got another one. Man, this is awesome. Another little tiny bass. You let her, little buddy. Oh yeah, nice one. Yeah, buddy. Shoot, yeah, a little fat sucker. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Well guys, thanks a lot for watching. That was absolutely awesome. That was the best fishing trip I've had in a very, very long time. I love catching bass. It's always been one of my favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. That was so many bass. That was anywhere from 20 to 30 bass. I, any, I lost count a long time ago after 10. But that was really, really fun. I'm hoping to do some more of the videos like this down this, uh, down this river soon. Sometime before it gets too cold. So you guys stay tuned to the channel. I appreciate all you guys' support. Don't forget to give the video a like. And uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you're new here. And uh, you'll enjoy the content. I do appreciate you guys coming by. Tight lines, guys. You guys have a good day. i got about a two-mile walk back home. So I'm going to get on out of here. And I hope to see you guys next time.